I'm Lee, also known as the Lost Voice Guy, and I'm from Newcastle up on time. Way I man, turn right. I have cerebral palsy, which means I can't talk, but when I'm performing it's as if I've finally found my voice and it's such a great feeling at making people laugh. When I found out I was in the final, Lost Voice Guy! It was such an awesome feeling. It means the world to me. I was told to go out and smash it in my semi-final, but I think I took it too literally. When I got back to the hotel I fell over. It would mean the world to me if I won Britain's Got Talent. My ultimate dream is to have a sell-out show in my home city of Newcastle. I'm so glad I decided to audition because it's changed my life. If I won, the prize money would mean I could develop a Geordie accent for myself. It's all gushy, Bonnie lad. Hello ladies and gentlemen. I know what you're all thinking. The fame has gone to his head, he's had a facelift, and it's almost as bad as Simon's. <laughs> the truth is that after winning the semi-final, I went to the bar to celebrate. People kept asking if I wanted another drink. By the time I typed no, they bought me one. In the end, I fell over. So now I'm known as the Lost Balance Guy. <laughs> it is also hard to interact with the audience when you use a computer, so please don't heckle me, or we'll be here all night. <laughs> I will try to talk to someone though. Hello David. Are you having a nice time in this generic town or city? <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. Good. <laughs> People have often asked me why I want to put myself in a position where everyone can stare and laugh at me. The truth is that it happens to me every day anyway. At least this way there's a scheduled time and place for it. I do it because I want to be famous too. I started off in a disabled steps tribute band. We were called Ramps. That was a bit of an uphill struggle. I used to often think about going on the X Factor just to see the look on their faces when they realize I can't actually sing, or dance, or talk. But I'd like to play you a clip of what I think would happen if I did go on the X Factor. Don't you know I'm still standing better than I ever did? Looking like a true survivor. Feeling like a little kid. I'm still standing after all this time. Picking up the pieces in my life without you on my mind. I'm still standing... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally, you've probably been wondering what I've been pressing on my tablet throughout the competition. The truth is that I've actually just spent the last three minutes voting for myself. I hope you had fun laughing at a disabled man. <laughs> Goodbye.
there's nothing to judge here. I mean, <laughs> other than to say, as, I, as we've said continually, you are just such an incredibly talented, nice, funny guy. Um, I am so, so happy. Honoured that you've come on our show and done what you've done over the past few weeks, genuinely. And, and I really, really, I, 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 I have a feeling things, I think you're going to have a great night tonight. I've just got a feeling. Well, this is just the ultimate example of turning something that might be a negative, losing your voice all those years ago, into a positive, in the most incredible positive that has taken you all the way to the Britain's Got Talent final. And, you know, this whole week, when I've been asking people who they think is going to win, nine times out of ten, they say you. <laughs> you have such a naughty sense of humour. You get better and better. I think you're genius. And, honestly, I think you're going to inspire so many people. So, for that, you've already won. better and this is no kind of pun it's not I'm, it's not me trying to be trite or anything but I too have no words because sometimes no words means so much I have no words to say to you because you are bloody brilliant <laughs> thank you Amanda and a lovely singing voice you've got there didn't know about that is there anything Lee you want to say to the judges I would just like to thank the judges for their support throughout the competition. It's meant a lot to me. And, um, and how has your week been, Lee? What have you been up to? Apart from my little fall, I've had an amazing week since my semi-final. All the positive feedback has been amazing. Fantastic. Uh, to give Lost Voice Guy...